right, Algebra 1, Lesson 31. This is equations with parentheses. Um, now, let's just start with example 1, and I'll kind of explain to you what I mean by that, okay? So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and write this out. All right, what do you think you would do on this? Oh, you can do parentheses first. Yes, okay, so we're going to do um, the distributive property, right? Because you can't answer within the parentheses. Yeah. There's nothing to answer. You do two times so three. we're going to go 2 times 3 is 6, six minus, two minus B. Two B. 2B. Then we just pull down everything else. Okay, if it helps you to put one big right there, you can. Okay, and then it becomes a problem that you do always, okay? So I'm going to go and make this plus negative and plus negative. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to move this over here or this over here, the B's? Move the um, two B over to the right. Okay. So we're going to put the B's on this side and the numbers on this side. So first we have to move this negative two B over here. So it'll become a positive two B plus I've got my one B here. And then this negative five, when I move it across here, five. becomes a positive five. So 6 plus 5. Now, equals 2B plus 1B. 3B. 3B equals 11. 11. And then this says 3 times B. And we want to get the B by itself. Move so divided by times three. B becomes divided by, three. divided by 3. And then B equals 11 thirds. 11 thirds. Okay? That's how you would do that problem. All right. Now, it's going to get a little bit um, more difficult. All right? This one actually doesn't, but let's go and walk through this. We'll at least do the first part, and then the rest of it you know how to do on your own. And the reason why they're doing this, I'll explain, is because of that right there. They're showing you this first, okay? We'll explain in just a minute, okay? So on this one, you're going to go 3 times, three times one, 1 is 3 plus... plus Multiply 3 times 2 is 6, and then you have your x, plus, just pull down your 7, equals this negative 4, equals negative 4x, four plus negative 4 times 2, eight. negative 8. Yeah. Negative. Yeah. Okay? So now we just get our x's on one side and our numbers on the other, and we work it out like normal. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go on and move to example number 3. And this is important why we just did that one because it's going to become important on this one. Okay, so here we go. 15 times, and then it's 4 minus 5x equals 16, 4 minus 6x plus 10. Okay, this one's not much different than the other, okay? So we're just going to go 15 times 4, which is 60 minus 15 times 5, which is 75, x equals 16 times 4, 64, yeah, 64, minus 16 times 6, uh, 96, 96. <laughs> x plus 10, okay? So, so far, and you can change this to plus negative, plus negative, get the x's on one side, the numbers on the other, okay? Now, this last one is uh, where it comes really important. So, I want you to watch these next two because it, this one gets a little bit more difficult. So, we've got, this is example four, 12 minus 2x plus 5 equals negative 2 plus x minus 3, just like that. Now, this is where it becomes a problem, because this says 12 minus this, okay? But that minus goes with all of this, uh -huh. because it's minus this whole thing. Uh -huh. So, to me, it makes sense, and I don't know if you'll like doing this or not. You can either apply, you can make this plus... Um, Negative, negative, like that. Yeah. Or you can say, leave that as a minus and put a one right here. And that's fine because you've got to have minus something, okay, and yeah. a one just directs it. So what you would do is go plus negative, and so then you'd go 
negative 1 times 2 becomes negative 2. See how I did that? Yeah. Wait, I'm going to get this 12 plus. That was just bringing it down. Okay, so then this negative 1 times 2 is negative 2x yeah. plus negative, negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Do you like doing the negative 1 right there? Yeah. Or you can just make it say minus or negative. Um, and then you know you need to make sure that you're applying it to this whole thing. Yeah. Because it's in parentheses. Yeah. Okay. So however you prefer to do it, but you just have to make sure you're using this towards this whole complete thing. All right. And then everything else, this actually doesn't change, and we can actually take it out of its parentheses because it's no reason there's not a two right here to multiply it with. You see that? Uh -huh. So we can actually take it out. And you can change all your minuses to plus negatives. And then you would get, I would make this 1x, and then you'd get your x's on one side and your numbers on the other. Okay? Now let's do the last one, example 5. It's going to kind of walk you through this again that we just went through. Okay? So help me out with it. This one may be a little bit harder, so let's walk through it together. Side. Let's do this side first. Is there anything that we can go in and work and do right here? Maybe the y's. Remove the y's? Yeah. You can do that, but you need to do one step first because this minus or you negative one, is on the outside. One minus, one minus four y minus 13. One minus? You can put a one on the left side. Yes, okay. Oh, you talking about one over here? Yeah. Well, you can't have a number one okay. here. You can put a zero there. Because well, you're actually adding a number, um, but if it's before, but if it's with it, you could put a one there. You talking about this? No. Just put a zero here. Yeah. Okay. So then that becomes zero minus that, and so then this would become plus a negative. But this negative applies to this and to this. Remember that whole scenario? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or you can, if you don't like doing the zero there, just know that this negative applies to both of them. Okay? So let's go ahead and do it. This becomes negative 4y. Okay? And I'm going to make this a plus negative. And then when I make this negative times that, it becomes a positive 17, right? Okay? Um, now, then we're just going to bring down the negative, and I'm just going to make that negative 1y. Okay, there's nothing we can do with it. No reason it to be in a parentheses. Equals um, this 2y minus 1. I'm going to make that a plus negative. And then this mi minus a negative y. Either plus positive. Plus a positive y. So plus, and you can make that a 1y too. Okay? And then you would work it just like normal. So the main things you're focusing on on these kind of problems is this plus minus negative. or this negative however you want to see it, yeah. applies to the number that's in the parentheses. Mm -hmm. So this, in this problem, it applied to two of them. In this problem, it just applied to one of them because that was what was in the parentheses. But we've got to pay attention to this to change that. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then we would just get y's on the one side and numbers on the other and work it like we used to. Okay? That is lesson 31.